Also, the soundtrack was just not as good. There's so many critiques I have about that game, but it's like... When it came out, people were so desperate for a new Killer Instinct that they're willing to look the other way. And it's like... I only like two tracks off of that entire... ...album soundtrack. Looks like a storm's brewing. Still have yet to get any of those stupid green star gems. Well, at least there's one at the entrance. Like, you could just keep running in and out. Glacius is my boy. Yeah, I know how much you love him. Focus on the enemy in front. Like, only his sound, like, only his song, like, his is the only, like, song that I like. What are the only ones? Same in Thunder. I like, um, both of their stage tracks. But, like, while the tracks themselves are, like, some of them are melodic anyway. Some of them are just whatever. But, like, what the dude got wrong in terms of his compositional skills was, like, he didn't weave in the game sounds into how the soundtrack would sound, which is what, like, 90s composers were amazing we at have doing. To take them all out? One at a time. One at a time. Like, whenever the dude says, Combo Breaker, there's, his voice has a note attached to it. And every single time he would say Combo Breaker, it's a note that would fit in the piece of music that you were listening to. Like, every little thing was, like, taken into account, and it was just great. The new announcer, he doesn't really fit in, and it's like, COMBO BREAKER! Like, it's very... It doesn't... Like, you can change it to classic, right? But even if you change it to the classic voice, where he's like, COMBO BREAKER! Like... The music doesn't fit his voice, because it wasn't composed with his voice in mind. Like, they didn't, like, add it in. It's hard to explain, I'll have to like show and give examples, like give actual examples and just be talking about it. All versions, he's super sick. Yeah, I like Lasius, he's alright. From KI1, of course I was more of a Cinder person, like a lot of people were Cinder people when we were kids. Charge! But, well, well, I was Cinder and Spinal. Except Spinal was weird in the first game because he was a forward forward character. And forward forward characters are weird for me. Because sometimes I push forward forward too fast so it only counts it as one. Man, these gems must have like a 1% drop rate. That's shit. In Glacius and KI, original KI 1994, he was a charge character that had like quarter circle forward moves, but like his main like... I don't even know what you would call it. Like opener maybe? It was like a lot of his stuff was charge moves. Orchid was a charge character in the first game. I was also a big Orchid player. Her and Cinder were like the only two characters that I knew. I knew what their ultras were. You know, you would, like, hang out with your friends at lunch and they would tell you, like, Oh yeah, if you push forward forward X, that's, uh, Cinder's Ultra. Or if, you know, if you charge back forward Y, that's Orchid's Ultra. Don't really do that anymore. It was more of an old school game design thing. But, like, Orchid's music is iconic. In the first two games, this in KI 2013, I thought her music sucked, which was really sad because, um, you know, you kind of expect it to be good because you're so used to it being good. Okay, I'm sure we have to take this shovel back to the dude, right? Yeah. I'll use my fight stick for that game instead of those whack ass N64 controllers. <laughs> Uh, what? Yeah, that may be pretty cool to use an actual stick on it. I'm more of a controller person. I've gotten used to using controllers. Mm -hmm. 
And then when KI2 came out, they only had one charge character. They completely got rid of like almost all the charge characters. The only one they kept in was TJ Combo. And I miss old TJ Combo. Like the new one, like he's okay, but I don't like down up as an input. I hate down up characters. I hate that shit. Like bring back charge characters, man. There wasn't anything wrong with them. Same thing with Saberwolf. I don't like that his he has down up moves. I hate that shit. God, I hate that shit. TJ can do some really nasty recapture. Like, yeah, he can do some cool recapture stuff. Like, I like him. It's fun to play him because his stuff just looks like it hits really hard. But like, he had well, I didn't like his music in Ki ninety four. But his music in KI2, like, it's cheesy as fuck, but I fucking love it. C to the O to the MB. Oh. And just that music is great anyway. It brings you to church because it's got that organ in it. Uh, we actually didn't see it down there. So then someone else must have run off with it. Oh, dear. Come on, Mark. Keep your chin up. We're uh, I'm really sorry. No need to apologize. If it's anyone's fault, it's mine for leaving it there in the first place. Uh, we could look a little more if you'd like. Well, hold your horses, Tiger. There might just be a clue or two that we miss. Not you too, Rita Chiquita. I'm sorry I said you were talking nonsense earlier. I didn't realize your shovel really meant to you that much to you. Do you really think there'll be some sort of clue down there? Uh, hello, that's what I'm saying. On the other hand, there's no guarantee we'll come up empty-handed if we take another look. Now hold on. Well, I suppose that chance is good enough for me. I'm in. Oh, come on, too. We will have to nudge our payment up for just a touch in exchange, though. Thank you, but I'm afraid your willingness to help is more than enough. But Mark, why? I was pleasantly surprised to find people who understood just how important that shovel was to me. And in the guilds, when a job's been done, that's the end of it. We in Ruins Gate take no exception to that rule. Yeah. You gave it your best shot. I've got no trouble paying you for your time. Really? It's only natural. I'll have to bid farewell to my old friend and go find myself a new one. That's the ticket, Mark. Well, then we should be moving on. Oh, wait a moment. Are you familiar with Miss... Mr. or Miss Harmfall? Harmfall? You mean my Harmfall? Your... Maybe you misunderstood me. Harmfall, so you were okay after all. Huh? Hold on, you don't mean... Yes, this is Harmfall, a legendary shovel that's been in my family for generations. Oh, luck is with us today. So then, that name written on the handle is the shovel's name. Okay. Well, you're welcome, sir. Well, that's another job that ended well. We have to give Estelle the credit this time around. The other one suggested we take it back with us. Yeah, if you hadn't spoken up, Estelle, the harmfall would have gotten left behind. That wasn't really anything. I just sort of thought we should bring it along. Still... Hmm. It sort of feels like I did my first work for the guild. Right on. Let's see if we can keep this going in the future. Okay, finally. Jeez. After the birth of Undine. See, I was able to do Dark Enforcer Part 6. I don't know if that's a glitch, but it says here that Undine has to be born first. And I didn't see fucking LeBlanc there to give me my Imperial Knight Captain title, which I'm really pissed off about. Because both side quest guides say it's supposed to happen, but it hasn't. And I'm really annoyed. I guess I just have to keep checking in Zophius until he shows up, but I really hope I didn't miss out on it because that costume is really sweet. In my opinion. C to the O to the MAO. Let me see, who else did I play that I didn't like? Like, I wasn't a fan of Arya. She's a two-bit, second-class, full gore. I, like, I don't really care about the story. I'm sure there are people who love Arya, but I did not care for her. Maya sucks. Her gimmick is too stupid, and her combos are bland because it's all the same shit unless you have your daggers. Uh, Saberwolf is whatever. I used to love Saberwolf. I love KI2 Saberwolf a lot. Um... Oh, it's raining. Dude, those, those boars will show up. 
Uh, Cinder's all right. Here. I mean, he's got the same attitude as old school Cinder, I guess. Wonderful. Victory. He can do some cool stuff. I think Cinder's all right. Give me your jaggy fur. These guys right here. You gotta wait for it to be raining. Uh, who else? I mean, I bought the game when it was on sale, so. I feel like in order for him to do lots of damage, like, you have to, like, really, like, not end your combos and you have to let that shit build up. Like, I don't know, like, what his purpose is in a PvP match. Not too shabby but from the combos man, I practice right? with him, like, he seems all right. Whoopsies. Oh, we're all over the place, cowards! Give me a precious jaggy fur. The vampire lady, I thought was whatever. Sadira's whatever. I mean, I guess she's attractive. Who's that? She's a hot character. I think Orchid's okay. Orchid still feels like classic Orchid to me, so... Orchid's fine. Shadow Jago's whatever. Like, I'm sure people love him, but I, he, I could take or leave him. The characters that I really like playing are Thunder, Spinal... I do like Idol. Because his his moves are really flashy looking. Uh, Gargos, he's okay, I guess. Like his pain and panic minions are kind of goofy. Like he's kind of goofy in general, which is nice. It's nice to have a goofy character. Fulgor is good. I like Fulgor, of course. Who else am I missing? Eagles? Whatever. It kind of sucks because you were kind of hoping like Eagle would be good, but I don't think Eagle is all that. Focus on the enemy in front. Oh, Conra is super goofy, but I do like Conra now that you mentioned him because he's a mummy dude. But yeah, Conra is goofy. I, just, I like his goofiness. I mean, you probably guessed I would have liked him because he's a mummy and he's weird. But I do like Kamra. Oh, you poor thing. Pow hammer beak. It's more of that jaggy fur, dude. Come on. We will Come not on go with easy it. on you. The Arbiter is actually pretty fun to play. It's all about those grenades and carbine shots. Uh, I personally didn't like him too much because he's like his combos are bland looking to me. But uh, he's there, I guess. Like, I both like and don't like General Ram because I don't like the fact that there are Halo characters in Killer Instinct. But, like, even though his combos are basic looking, they're really savage. And I like that about this Ram. Is it, like, he just fucking just shanks you with a knife. Like, it's nothing fancy or anything. He just, like, pounds you to the ground and, like, stabs you. So, like, that's what I find charming about Ram. But I don't think, you know, I don't like all this cross promotional shit just because Xbox owns Killer Instinct. Victory is sweet. Who else? Because I've played everybody else at least once. And I like, I just like practicing combos with everybody because that's what is fun for me about fighting games is the combos. Um, I think that's everybody that I can think of. Focus 
on the enemy in front. Only one of them. Ow. Victory? At least they drop the jaggy fur all the time. That's so nice. I don't know how many of those pow hammer beaks I'm gonna need. I should probably get a couple more if I can. Rash! I forgot about him. I don't like him either. Like, I know he's a rare character. But he's just kind of whatever for me. I know you like Rash. Like, talk about goofy characters. Like, he's even goofier than Con Ra to me. But at least Battle Toads is like a rare word game. Victory? Now he's a random character. I guess he had to be somewhere. Now, my favorites are Glacius and Hisako. Hisako, uh, I don't get why she's in Killer Instinct. Like, I don't care about the story in fighting games, but at least in like the old games, there was a reason for every one of those fighters to be there. Like, because like, for example, uh, Spinal was there because Ultra Tech was performing experiments to reanimate like ancient things, and like Riptor was a new Riptor. I don't like either, but I wasn't a big Riptor person anyway. But um, like for example, Riptor was a by you know biologically engineered raptor. Uh, they brought, they reanimated Spinal's bones, and he was like a crazy skeleton man. Like, with Hisako, did they think, oh, let's, let's find a way to bring ghosts into the tournament or something? Like, I don't know. Same thing with Shin Hisako, it's just Hisako, but with a katana. But you know, they gotta have the creepy Japanese ghosts. For reasons. Fulgore was the ultimate weapon designed by all the guys, you know, that's why he was there. Yeah, that was great! Shin Hisako! She just has a sword. And, like, her moves are different, obviously. They're different, but not, not super different. We will not go easy on you! Tusk? I think I could take or leave Tusk. They decided to go full Norse mythology with him, even though he was just a wild cone in the Barbarian Man. And he was like goofy and weird. We can do this. Everybody dies but me. And they also made Spinal Scandinavian and a Viking for reasons. Like, he was just a goofy reanimated skeleton with a sword. Like, we don't need him to be like, oh, the Melingo Spinal. It's like, oh, here we go with the goddamn Scandinavian chants and shit. Not that there's anything wrong with Scandinavian history and lore and mythology, but don't get cocky. We need to appeal to the Viking crowd. Let's make Spinal a Viking and let's make Tusk a Viking. Everybody likes Thor, right? He looks kind of like Thor. And Jago, he doesn't look Tibetan at all. He's supposed to be a Tibetan monk, but he looks like some white guy. He's like Beverly Hills Ninja. We will not go easy on you. Except you know in shape. You see, when we made Spinal, we wanted it to be as authentic as possible, so we looked at ancient Scandinavian uh, ritual music. They should have got that band that you showed me that composed the music for. Uh, 
Senua's sacrifice. It's Hellblade. I suppose I could try. Maybe I would have been more interested if it was those pagans from that. Hyrule, I think Not that's too what shabby for an old man, right? I'm gonna have to look them up again. Because I thought it was actually pretty sweet. And I'm pretty sure Jeremy would like it because he likes that kind of thing. At least like the, all the other characters kind of stayed the same to what they were. Like, Glacius was an alien that all to check captured and forced to fight in the tournament for his freedom. Except now he looks way more like an alien. Or like a, I don't know how to describe it. Like he looked like an alien in the other game, it's just now he's like creepier in a way. He's not like cheesy like he used to be. He's like kind of creepier because he's like like he makes those weird like whale noises and shit. His music is good though, and it references the music of the older games, which is nice. Which is a nice touch. I have been trained by knights. I won't lose. Orchid is hot, but she's always been. So that's a plus. Very attractive lady. Video game lady. I will fight until we crush the menace. Okay, I think we got enough. Uh, what were we even doing here? Are we going to do the Odini thing now? Yes. Yes, we shall. Let me go check Zafia's real quick, though, to make sure LeBlanc isn't there. Oh man, what about Kilgore? Kilgore! He's really whatever, like his combos are basic.